This video will discuss the properties of the market equilibrium point at price P star and quantity Q star. The question is, where does this point come from? Well, let's take a look. The supply curve is the marginal cost of providing the good, right? So if we have any quantity, just pick some quantity, go up to the supply curve, we could find that the height of the supply curve is the marginal cost for that quantity. Now the demand curve is a consumer's willingness to pay. And we're using this term because it's going to keep reappearing throughout the semester. You may have learned the demand curve is equal to the marginal benefit. And that's true, you should be willing to pay up to your marginal benefit for a good. So at that same quantity, we can go up to the demand curve and find out a consumer's willingness to pay. From the height of the demand curve. Now what's nice is that at any quantity that is transacted in the market, we have a situation where the consumer's willingness to pay is above the market price. And the producer's marginal cost, that's the least amount of money that they would take to sell it, is below that price. So we see that these are mutually beneficial transactions, and consumer surplus is the difference between willingness to pay and the price, while producer surplus is the difference between price and the marginal cost. Any transaction to the left of our equilibrium point is going to be mutually beneficial. The benefits are going to outweigh the costs. Notice that the market stops producing output at this quantity Q star. What happens at quantities higher than Q star? Let's just pick some quantity higher than Q star, and if we go up to the demand curve, the consumer's willingness to pay is below the market price. And the seller's marginal cost, what they would have to be paid in order to produce that good, above the market price. So we see that in a quantity that is greater than the market quantity, we end up with a situation where the costs outweigh the benefits. All right, so if we were to produce this unit, we would be destroying this much value, the difference between marginal cost and willingness to pay. That's a bad thing. At this quantity Q star, the market provides all the units up to Q star for which the benefits are greater than the costs, and none of these units above Q star where the costs outweigh the benefits. 